Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hello lovely people. As usual, we're going to start with the EURUSD looking on the daily time frame. So, we've been talking about the importance of this level on uh, the previous overview and uh, as you see guys um, again we, let's go to the weekly and see it more clearly this is a big deal level as you know looking left here back in 2015 all the way back there this area been acting as a great level of interest so uh, last week was a bearish week for the euro after the retest of this level it start to uh, move lower and uh, since then uh, it kept moving to the downside until we got a little bit of a bullish move on friday but that is not enough so far in my opinion because uh, the euro did enter back inside this uh, lower range here as you see it been tested many times as uh, support uh, as resistance mostly actually and uh, yeah as far as that is the case and the euro is failing to go back above this the direction gonna be to the downside so target one should be down here we have target two here been tested also many times and the last target gonna be down here as far as there is no break above this area as i said so if they manage to break above it then of course we might see a potential attempt to move back to the top one more time but i am not seeing that happening yet uh, the 200 uh, moving average on the four hour working nicely so far as dynamic support but that that might not last if they fail to break above this area once again next week so keep that level in mind sterling also uh, bearish after uh, the retest of the 200 moving average on the daily and last week also on friday they did go back inside this old range it be moving nicely to the upside and uh, as i said in last week's uh, overview it was the time for a correction especially after retesting this key area up here and the 200 moving average so if we go down to the lower time frame we see that after this failure here they start making lower lows and lower highs another failure here to move higher and a break below structure and uh, break out of this bearish flag so uh, targets here uh, of course gonna be the bottom of this range in my opinion um, any retest toward this area that failed to break back above it will be a signal for further downside should be down here target one potentially target two and um, yeah of course there is more room to the downside if that level this level down here would also be broken uh, for the for the bulls here if you are willing to go long um, you really need to see a break above this structure at least so this level need to be broken to then look for continuation higher as for now i think there is still some more room to the downside for a correction lower toward this area or maybe toward this level down here as a bigger target USD Jappy bearish because of uh, stock market uh, been um, not doing so well to the upside. So of course Jappy gets strong uh, when uh, such a thing happen. And uh, yeah, as you see here, we have a lower high on the daily time frame. Still no break below previous low, but we need to watch that level on the lower time frame. Any break below this area that will be a signal that we uh, are moving further down toward this level here as a target. So for next week. I would uh, keep an eye on this level and if broken target gonna be down here or the 112 which is a much much better level uh, below this area uh, for the upside scenarios well that's uh, of course um, need to broke a uh, break above previous high to then look for that further upside as for now I'm not seeing that happening especially after establishing this lower high so any attempt toward these areas next week and if, if they fail to break above this uh, 114 point uh, 50 60 area then i am uh, thinking that we might see one more leg to the downside anyway aussie uh, weaker because of a weak stock market so we have now what looks like as a, um, a continuation head and shoulder scenario here 
And what I mean by continuation, we have this bearish move. Correction seems to be ending here with this uh, head and shoulder on the daily. Or at least you could just say you have a lower high, a failure to break higher here. And any break below this trend line will signal continuation lower, in my opinion. If we go down to the four hour, we see it clearly here uh, playing around the 200 moving average. And um, yeah, this uh, trend line here might be something to work with. Any break below that, it is already on the way to break below it would be a continuation toward uh, these two targets target one and uh, down below here uh, should be target two uh, in my opinion on um, aussie especially if as i said um, if the stock market keep doing um, uh, these uh, lower lows and lower highs USD CAD found some support finally, so it's been sitting at that 200 moving average for a while on the daily time frame, failing to break lower. Friday, nice uh, strong move to the upside, and um, yeah, the um, the range is still there. There is still no break out of it though. Uh, well, we could say it is broken, but I do not like just um, it broke uh, with so few pips. I would I would love to see uh, a little bit more, but all in all. <clears throat> It is uh, still the same idea here as far as there is no break below this will uh, keep being a bullish scenario so uh, you could also wait for a break higher retest continuation or any retest back down could be a reason to look for a bounce back up on uh, usd cat usd chief um, back to the bottom of the range uh, since uh, chief is um, a safe haven and uh, with a weaker stock market, I think this might also continue lower, the same as USD Jappy. So um, if the stock market keep being weak, <coughs> I think we might see further downside. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Further downside toward this area. And then uh, target two, if this level also got broken, would be down, down here. So, um, yeah, that's the plan for um, USD Chief. If we put these levels here so you can work your way with them uh, again we are seeing the price at the bottom of the range we are seeing failure to break higher we are seeing a lower high so many things are pointing to the downside here on uh, this one gold also acting as safe haven now and um, trading uh, nicely above the 200 moving average once again making uh, higher highs and higher lows we had a break above this structure they need to hold above this level now for further upside so keep an eye on where the price is at the moment after this break this retest each time they do a retest and they fail to go back below you might look for further upside targeting this previous high so this level where the price uh, did break last week is a key area and they need to hold above it as far as they are above it you still have the chance to look for further upside toward this stop here otherwise if they go back down and they fail to go back above it then of course we might see a rotation down toward this area but uh, as far as the case is uh, still the same in the stock market, this might push higher. Oil, a little bit of a slowdown last week, still <laughs> strongly bullish. Um, and uh, this is not a huge um, correction yet. So a bit tricky, but I think uh, we might start to see something happening here. Uh, in my opinion, if they um, continue failing to break above these previous highs, we might still see further downside. So last move was a break to the downside. Now we have a potential correction. And again, if they keep failing to break above, we might look for further downside. This also used to follow uh, what happens in the stock market. So if the situation continues the same in the stock market, oil might also follow through uh, New Zealand USD um, it's a bonus chart today this I uh, used to stop here but you can take a look at this one as well for this week uh, still inside the range but testing the bottom of the range so it is pretty easy stuff here you either wait for a potential bounce or uh, if the situation continue as it was last week in the stock market then you look for break retest and then further downside and this is actually what i'm planning to see a break here 
to look for a retest and continuation. I think this might break to the downside next week. But as for now, you should see this as a potential support so you don't sell it before the breakout or you wait for a correction here. If you see they are failing to break higher, then you look for a potential sell from this area, in my opinion, instead. So, um, yeah, guys, that was it for this week. Thanks a lot. Do not forget to hit that like button. If you like the video to support the channel, do not forget to add a comment or share the video with someone else. Thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye-bye.